leave it to the limited time that I read comments. Somebody commented, yo, you did office safe fragrances, but what about us blue collar people? People who are out in the field, out and about getting our hands dirty, building up those calluses. What type of fragrance can we wear for us to also like feel sexy and shit? And I was like, you know what? You are right. I put everybody in this office setting bubble forgetting about the real deal blue collar people, which are so essential to our society and they should not be deprived of smelling sexy and delicious. So I've compiled eight of what I think of sexy, strong, masculine fragrances for our blue collar workers to wear. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto the eight fragrances that I've selected. And I think this might blow the office one out of the water. <laughs> We're all alone in the land of the year for some friends from the South Side in case you can't out of all your friends I wanna be Hoo-ba! Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, c 3 u 3 b 3 Today's video is sponsored by MrCubano.com, where you can get your Cubano Cut the Check merch, aka no free shit, or you can get your neck profile merch if you follow my jewelry channel, and much, much more. So I put together a list of eight fragrances and really put some thought behind these fragrances. Why? Because in my idea, blue-collar workers get their hands dirty. They're either working indoors or outdoors, all different types of environments, but are usually in the mud, getting busy, coming home dirty, having to scrub their nails, really got the beat up hands, they sweaty, they hard working, they're always on the move, very agile and shit. And when that body moves around that way, you want a fragrance that only performs super well, but also is kind of a statement piece on you. You don't want to have that stigma of plumber crack, asshole, hairy shit hanging out. You still want to smell sexy and keep your fragrance vibe still going. So these are the eight fragrances that I've selected. There are no particular order, but I'm going to start off with one of the most masculine fragrances in this line up it is niche because you should not be deprived of niche blue collar workers get busy and i don't understand how some motherfuckers straight up be on the top of like a hundred foot building on a beam and shit just using a rope to balance i am hitting in my pants just thinking about it but this is as masculine as it comes and that's none other than shershoff's the dawn Don is one of these outstanding fragrances. We can't forget the Zhirzhov cap with the little asshole tickler. And this is as masculine as it gets. It's pretty much wet, concrete, hairy man chest and gunpowder in one fragrance. This is deep. Diesel performs incredible. And like I said, this shit smells like I bust rocks with my knuckles. It's a very sexy scent profile. People be sleeping on this joint if they haven't smelled this joint. And the ones who have smelled it have been like, yo, Coops, you 100% right. That shit is a beast. It smells super masculine. It's literally like just straight up masculinity in a bottle. Clint Eastwood in his Western days. The Don by Zhirzhov is absolutely sexy. Perfect for that blue collar man to smell like a Don. Next one. Being completely completely honest. I only like this fragrance on the dry down. In the house itself, I have mixed feelings about usually more towards the uh factor, but this one is not a bad fragrance at all. It's beautifully masculine. It's tobacco, but it has that potency that dudes who are sweating on the line can use while still smelling sexy. And that's by the house of Le Labo and that's Tabac 28. Something about Le Labo fragrances that just come off to me a little bit obnoxiously scratchy upon the initial smell. It's all about the dry down as it is with all fragrances. However, this one really takes some getting used to, but what you can't deny is that it is a beautiful tobacco scent profile with some life and a little bit of like pizzazz in it. Most of all, it's got incredible performance. So if you want a beautifully performing tobacco based fragrance that still smells sexy and has an extremely popular reputation about it while still keeping that blue collar masculinity, Tobacco 28 is definitely a good option. Next one. I think at some point this will reach some sort of legendary status by the house of Guerlain that's Lome Ideal. Can you say incredible nuttiness? Sweet, sexy, seductive, slightly boozy, very aromatic, absolutely jaw dropping. And I can't believe at some point you could have bagged this joint up for like 40 bucks. I'm not saying that's what you can get it for now, but it's an incredible scent profile, very deep, very sexy. No reason why a blue collar man should not be smelling outstanding, no matter how many grease stains, broken fingers, band-aids, sweat stains, no matter any of those things that you can't smell incredible. This will perform incredibly and still have you smelling outstanding, but get ready to shower and reapply. All right, next one. The Resurrection of Valentino V. Rassasi's Derej. Man, I hadn't reached for this shit in a while, and since I'm doing the video, I was going through the crates, and I'm like, oh, this 
definitely scream blue collar. It's got a beautiful musky, vanillic, violet type note, and it also has like a little bit of a potency with a cumin base. Not to mention the sweetness and powderiness that comes off of this fragrance. It's outstanding, performs incredible. And again, it's the resurrection of Valentino V, which is an expensive fragrance, hard to find at this point. So if you're looking for an alternative and this joint is in that $30 some odd range, Dorej is fire. Next one. Sexy fig leathery vibes by the house of BDK. That's Gris Charnel. This subtle leathery, more, more suede -ish. I get this subtle suede type vibe in this beautiful fig fragrance and the freshness of like herbal tea. It's Oh my God, unbelievable. I love this fragrance. I go back and forth between this and the flanker, but this one captivated my heart initially and it's fucking gorgeous. I mean, definitely masculine, very blue collarish, woody. Again, tea vibe, fig. There's a little bit of a spice in here. And again, this Swedish kind of consistency that comes off of this fragrance. So if you want to rock something incredible while getting your hands in the dirt, Gris Charnel is a must try. Next one. Ah, oh, man, I miss Pure Havan so much, so I have to go with the alternative, and that's Insurrection Wild. Insurrection Wild is one of those other budget clone fragrances that is crazy. It smells like you out there on a smoke break, smelling sweet, sexy, and tobacco-y. It has this beautiful, thick, organic honey type vibe with these toasted, spicy notes that's beautiful. It's really the stepchild of Pure Havan, and I miss Pure Havan. Not only miss Pure Havan, but I miss the Pure Havan price point that used to exist. Now it's impossibly difficult to get at an affordable price, but this is an absolutely suitable option if you're looking for that sweet, tobacco-y, toasted spice vibe that Pure Havan can give you, and a much affordable option with pretty decent performance. Next one. Mass Appeal Beast Mode Vibes Reflection Man is the vibe. Like while making this video, I'm not gonna front. This made this my scent of the day. I had to spray this joint on because it's when I come to revisit this shit, I'm like, let's can go. It's a vibe, it's pure sex appeal. I just don't know how else to explain this beautifully spicy jean Paulish Lamal kind of vibe, allegedly. The performance, the must, the spice, the sex appeal, the elegance, the sophistication, the masterful blending, this shit is fire. That's why so many people rock this joint. And as a blue collar worker, if you're gonna get busy, moving around in motion 24 seven and you don't got a fragrance that lasts well, it's just trash. You're just wearing something for nothing. This joint is gonna outlast you and the job. And who knows, one of those porn scenes where the construction worker knocks on the door, ma'am, can I clean your pipe? Yes, daddy. That may happen, next one. And last and certainly not least, if you wanna get sexy vibes in leather, Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum. Talk to me nice or don't talk to me at all. Oh my God, sweet raspberry leathery vibes. It smells like a worn utility belt that's been around for decades, hanging properly off your ass because you don't want your ass sweat all over the leather belt. I just want to feel this shit in the air. I want, I want to, I want to experience this firsthand right now. Just come on, tell who <coughs> I choke. I choke. Who doesn't like this joint? I, I don't understand. I refuse to believe that there would be people out there that wouldn't like this shit. Leathery, smoky, tobacco, masculinity, woody, violet leaf, like who would, who would dare not say this isn't a blue collar fragrance? Who would dare say that this shit is not sexy? Who would dare not want to sit on your face while wearing this joint? I don't know why I'm thinking of the scene in Friday. You gonna let me fuck this fucker? Lit, 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 absolutely fire for a blue collar worker. It just smells like your ambiance, fam. This is incredible. So these are eight fragrances that I think I've compiled a very solid list for my blue collar people. We talk about the Don, Tabac 28, Lom Ideal, Darej, BDK Gris Chanel, Insurrection Wild, Amouage Reflection, and Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum Talk to me correctly. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. If you're a blue collar worker, blue collar workers only, comment below and let me know if this is a solid list and if you've worn any of these on the field and have you gotten lucky on that like, oh, you're in a robe. Oh, the robe fell down. I wanna hear all this kinky shit. I'll see you bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game. Smooches. Oh, no.